So I have to be completely honest, the iPhone 13 Pro is probably one of the most insane iPhones I've ever used in my life. And after owning this phone since the, I think October event when this thing happened or September, it's been about like nine, 10 months right now. This iPhone, in my opinion, is so insane in so many different ways that Every time I look at this device, I genuinely can't believe how great of a job Apple did with it. And it's funny because every other day I feel like I'm talking about this iPhone more and more, and it's because every single leak I see of the iPhone 14s, and any time I look at my previous iPhone, which was the iPhone 12 Pro, I don't really think the next iPhone or the previous iPhone can even match what this iPhone actually had. Now, I want to bring up one specific point that I keep seeing with all the iPhone 14 leaks, and that's actually with the Apple A15 Bionic chip inside of the iPhone 13 Pro. Theoretically speaking, the 13 Pro is going to be pretty much just as fast and possibly even better in the RAM management portion than the iPhone 14s. The iPhone 14, the base 14 and 14 Max are set to actually have the same chipset as the iPhone 13 Pro. Now, the reason why that's important is because the iPhone 13 Pro is going to be a year old by that point. It's going to be much cheaper in the used market than an iPhone 14, but it could potentially be faster. We've never really seen that happen before with really most iPhones Apple has made. Anytime they make a next iteration of iPhones, they're usually faster and better than the previous generation. The only time that really wasn't even the case was with the iPhone 13 where the iPhone 12 Pro had more RAM than the iPhone 13, but still it was a faster phone. It had a newer chipset. Now with the iPhone 14s, just the chipset thing alone is going to be a pretty big difference and probably a reason to pick up the iPhone 13 Pro. But another big thing, at least my time using it, the whole entire experience has been so stable. And after using this iPhone pretty much the exact same way I was using my 12 Pro, my battery health is still at 100%. My you know stability of this phone has never been better. We're still getting a few updates here and there with iOS 15. It's been very stagnant. But the last update I've installed on this iPhone has also been very stable. And I've never really held this iPhone and from my daily usage, I've never felt like I was not able to get a really good performing phone or felt like this iPhone couldn't be a decent workaround for other devices I have. What I mean by that is if I wanted to play a game, even if it's the most intensive game I can think of that's available on iPhones, I don't have to think about whether this iPhone can handle it or not. It can easily handle it. And for the next several years, I think that's going to end up being the case. And even when I look at the next five to six years on this iPhone, if we're thinking super long term, a lot of the games that are coming out nowadays have the ability of changing the different graphic settings. So games like Genshin Impact, for example, even if you played on an iPhone success, you can go ahead and change the graphics down to much lower. And yeah, it may not look as good, but you're still going to be able to get really decent performance from that type of phone. And I think of the same thing with the 13 Pro looking forward. These developers are going to want to make sure these phones can play these games for as long as they can. And with an iPhone like this that has amazing battery life, ProMotion display, and the ability to hopefully one day in the future Future, still be able to keep up with the newer iPhones that came out, I think this iPhone has a massive future ahead of it and I genuinely cannot wait until the next iteration of these iPhones come out so I can go ahead and see how good this iPhone still holds up, you know, compared to those ones. If you have any other thoughts or questions, let me know in the comment section below. Hit the like button, help me so much, but definitely hit that subscribe button. More importantly than everything else, I love every single one of you guys. Hopefully I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace out, till then.